Was Muhammad a descendant of Ishmael? This is a very important and foundational claim for Islam. Islam is founded on that Abraham and Ishmael went to Mecca, they built um, the, the temple of Kaaba, and they founded a monotheistic religion there that later on became Islam. We're going to be examining these claims in the light of Islamic text. This is Daniel Amari from the Religion Research Institute. So according to the Islamic text, the claim that Muhammad was a descendant of Ishmael, that particular claim, and that the Arabs also that they were descendant of Ishmael, first appeared during Muhammad's time. So in Arabia, nothing was made of such claims at all. That claim first appeared during the time of Muhammad. It was first embraced by the Ahnaf, an occultic and paganistic group. The founder of Ahnaf, Zayd bin Amru bin Nufayl, was a pagan who insisted that he was neither a Christian nor a Jew. He was the first to claim that the Temple of Kaaba was built by Abraham and Ishmael and that Quraysh was descendant of Ishmael. Muhammad was actually a member of the Ahnaf, of that group, and he later became their leader. But there is more to this. During Muhammad's time, Umayyah bin Abi Salt, who was a maternal cousin of Muhammad, an important relative of Muhammad, he claimed to be a prophet. He also claimed that the Queen Sheba, who visited Solomon in the Bible, was his aunt. But that is not it. Because before him, there was a Yemeni leader, his name is Tubba, and it's in about the 5th century AD, he also claimed that he was a prophet and that the Queen Sheba was his aunt. Later, Muslim historians reported and embraced the claims of Arabs during Muhammad's time. What were these claims? They also claimed that the Greeks and the Romans were descendants of Abraham through Isaac. Arabs actually created fake uh, genealogies linking the Romans with Abraham. They even created a genealogy linking Alexander the Great with Abraham. They even believed and claimed that the Persians were descendant of Abraham. So you see that the claim of Arabs being descendant of Ishmael and Abraham, part of that was the Romans, the Greeks, and the Persians. Despite Muhammad's claim being the descendant of Ishmael, he actually did not have the knowledge to substantiate such claim. Other Muslims during the life of Muhammad attempted to create genealogies to link Muhammad to Ishmael. Muhammad objected and said that anyone who actually goes further than his 13th ancestor is a liar. In other hadith, Muhammad limited to the 20th ancestor. This indicates that Muhammad and his family had limited information about their ancestors. Muhammad was ignorant of the name of Adnan. And as we have stated in previous episode, Adnan is a very important name because he is the link. He's the ancestor of Muhammad that links Muhammad to Ishmael. And despite that fact, Muhammad was ignorant of Adnan. Even the Quran was ignorant of Adnan. This is Daniel Amari from the Religion Research Institute.